How did you know this? I didn't know at all. I found it a natural game of life. Intense, daring, and draining. Prisoners, a movie where each character is a prisoner in their own right. It's about every parent's worst nightmare, a missing child. In career best performances, Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal lead the way in this mystery thriller. But at least in person, they're not quite so intense. And the complications of the story are ultimately about how revenge just begets more revenge. And I think it makes you question those ideas. And I think that that's very important for movies to do. And it makes it different than your normal fare. But it is also um, incredibly entertaining. I mean, when you said you want to go see it again, I think there are clues all over that when you see it the first time, you'll want to see it again. Because they're everywhere. Even I, you know, you know, there are moments where you're standing in front of the answer. And I knew the story while I was filming it, and I had no idea that they had placed me in front of the answer. You know, I mean, that's so as an audience. That's exciting, I can't imagine though, as an actor, like, too. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. Where are your sisters? I can't find them. Anna? Joy? I checked the entire house, they're not here. They weren't outside. It's starting to rain, I think. Dad, there was this RV, and they were playing on it. There was, there, we thought there was someone inside. You wait here. Let me know. I couldn't find them. 911. Detective Loki. <laughs> Do you have children, Detective? I'm going to find your daughters. Now, of course, Grace Dover is a prisoner as much as anyone. That's right. What is her prison? Who Each is she? character has their own prison. My prison is the prism of grief and shame and a woman who caves in on herself and has to self-medicate because she doesn't even know what to do or where to go. She goes to fantasy. She thinks her daughter's just going to show up. She does not know what to do. She is incapable of moving. And I know as a mother, I wonder which character I would be. And I think I'd be both her, Grace, and Keller together. I don't know any mother who wouldn't be partly like my character. What do you got? We didn't find anything. This thing's clean. That boy has never been in trouble a day in his life. They're letting him go. What? The police said they're letting him go today. Why aren't you sending someone out to go arrest this guy? Well, he has the IQ of a 10-year-old. There's no way he could abduct two girls and then make them disappear. Maybe he wasn't on his own. We're considering all possibilities. I don't think you are considering all possibilities. Just let me do my job. Four days have passed since Anna Dover and Joy Birch were last seen by their families. I have nine level three offenders living within a 10 mile radius. Keep knocking on doors. Mind if I take a look around? What do you tell me his name? He said he took them. Did he say he was with anybody? We found something. Every day she's wondering why I'm not there. Me, not you, not you, but me! I think what Prisoners does is exist a lot in the gray areas. The cop, played by Jake, brilliantly by Jake Gyllenhaal. It's a really great three-dimensional look at that cop. He's not just gonna find, a, it, you see his flaws, you see the difficulties for him, you feel the sleep deprivation, you feel the desperation for the fathers. You, one minute you think my character's heroic and yes, and then you're like, oh, hang on, I'm not sure if I agree with him or if I'm on his side anymore. Every, in every way, I think what Denis does brilliantly is combine this thriller, suspenseful movie with a genuine drama that keeps you thinking long afterwards about the complexities of, of being human. What in the world did you do? Someone has to make him talk or they're gonna die. Five days we got now, we're running out of time. You don't even know that it's him. Someone and he knows where this guy is. Why aren't you telling me? This ain't right. Why? This guy's a fake. The girls are still out there. The interesting thing is, you don't know who's the true prisoner. Are we all prisoners to each other's pain, to our fears? You know, how do you live in the now when? 
the now has become such an, the present has become such an ugly, ugly monster, a demon. And you see the reflection of that demon in your own face because you are held by your fear, but you also are held by the fear that someone that depends on you, you're not there for. Certainly one of the year's best. Look for prisoners in your real-time theater.